In this video, I'm going to be going over how to create a block and then subdivide it into individual lots. The block that we're going to be working with is this one here. So to start off, we're going to go to MS Tools, Subdivision, Create Edit Lots Blocks. Here we have two options, either create a lot or a block. Well, in this case, we're going to be creating the block first. And then here we have two another two options either to create the block manually by entering distances and bearings or to create the block by selecting line work. Well in this case I already have all my line work done so I'll select that option. Now it's just asking for some information. It's asking for the block name. Well I'll just call this block 20 and the starting point ID. I'm going to call this 501 but for the block, it's not going to be too relevant because I already have points defined here, so it's just going to use those points. If I didn't have those points and just had the line work, then it would create new points starting at 501 and going up. But we're going to use 501 later on when we subdivide the block. So now let's start by selecting objects. I'll just move this to the side here. And now it's just asking for the front, the back, the left, and the right of our block. So it's just a matter of selecting the option and selecting the line work and then pressing enter or right click. So I have my left and right selected there. The same thing for the front and for the back. You can also just window in objects if you want. And now I have my whole block defined. So I'm going to click on finish. And now it's all going to open up a report. It's just giving me some information about the block. Notice how it's using the points already there. It didn't create new ones for 501 and up. It's also uh, giving me the bearing distance of the different points to point, as well as northern easting of those points. It's also as giving me the square feet and meters, acres and hectares of the lot, as well as the traverse distance and the area closure, as well as the frontage. Of course, you can always save this or print it. In this case, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to close that. And now it's asking if I want to process another block. Well, in this case, I don't, so I'm going to say no. So now that my block's defined, it's a matter of subdividing it. So again, we're going to go to MS Tools, Create Edit Lots Blocks. This time, we're going to be creating a lot. Now, here we have three options. The first one to create a lot manually by entering distance and bearing. The second one to create a lot by selecting line work, similar to how we did it with the block. And the third one to auto-generate lots from a block. In this case, this is the one that we're going to be working with. So here, it's just asking which block we're using. And if we're computing along the frontage or by using a setback. If we were to use a setback, you can enter the distance here. In this case, we're going to be using frontage. It's also asking for the starting lot name and the starting point ID. Notice how it also saved the, the starting point ID that I used with the block. So in this case, I'm going to select next. And now it's just asking for some more information, such as the distance of our frontage. Well, in this case, mine is 105 feet. So I'm going to select that. Notice how it already default to lot 1. I'm just going to update the preview. So here you can see how it generates line work. And the distance from point 50 to here should be exactly 105 feet. So I'm just going to move on to the next slot. And select update preview. Let's generate the second line. And go to lot 3. Same thing for lot 4. And now for lot 5, I'm just going to select next lot so that it creates a lot. But I'm not going to update preview so it doesn't create another segment here, 105, because I want to use it the remainder. I don't want to use uh, 105 because I know this distance from here to the point 72 is about 108 feet. So I'm just going to click finish lots. And now all the lots have been created. Notice how it also started from point 501. 502 and then went all the way up to 0.507 and 8 and it also didn't create new points at the end here. So if I were to look at this point information 
you can see that the length is 108.788 feet. I can close that. So it used the remainder there. And if I look at this line here for say, it should say 105 feet. And that is how you create a block and subdivide it in MicroSurveyCAD.